In this Inkscape video, I'll be demonstrating how to make an image of a penguin like you see here. For this video, I'll be using Inkscape version 0.48. Let's start by moving this out of the way. The first thing that we're going to make is the body. So go over to the Circle and Ellipse tool, click on that, press and hold the left mouse button to draw an ellipse, and let's set the size of this ellipse to a specific size. So go up here and press on the select button and enter a width of 365 and this is in pixels and a height of 560. And we want this to have a border so you can add a border by going down to the color palette here and while pressing the shift key, press the left mouse button on the color that you want. And right here you can see the stroke or border color displayed. And next to it here is the width of the stroke. Right click on this number and set the width of the stroke to six pixels. And now we're going to add a gradient but first set the center color of this ellipse to the same color that you used for the border. And then select the gradient tool and make sure that the gradient is set to linear which is this button right here. And now put your cursor on the inside of the ellipse and press and hold the left mouse button while you drag. And the default for gradient is to change the gradient from a solid color to transparent. But instead of transparent, we want this to be black. So with this node selected, this little blue node right here, go down to the color palette and left click on black. And now we have a gradient from the lighter gray color that we started with to a black color. And next let's make the wings of the penguin. So go over to the ellipse tool again and click on that and draw an ellipse and this time we don't want the border so go down here to the stroke color right click and select remove stroke and let's set the size of this ellipse now so click on the select button and set this to a width of 450 pixels and a height of 410 pixels. To position this ellipse, go up to this button right here, which is the Align and Distribute Objects button, and press that, and it'll bring up a dialog box to align things. For the relative to selection, I have mine set to first selected, so when I select multiple objects, the objects will be aligned to the first one that I have selected. So I'm going to first select the body of the penguin here and then I'll hold down the shift key and click on the wings and that will let me select both of these together. And then I'll press this button right here to align them to the center. And then I want to deselect both of these. So I'll just click on the background anywhere here and then click on the wings to select just the wings and then drag that down into position. And if you hold the control key while you're dragging this down, it'll drag it straight down and position it just a little ways from the bottom of the body. And then go over to this button right here and press that to move these wings to the back. And next, let's make the belly of the penguin. So go select the ellipse tool again and set the color to white and then draw an ellipse. And now let's set the size. So click on the select button and set the width to 300 pixels and the height to 395. And then add a white border by holding the shift button and then click on white in the color palette here. Then we need to set the width of the border. So right here where you see 1.7, right click on that number 
and come up here and set this to 6. And now to center this ellipse, click on the body and then hold the shift key and click on the belly. And then over here on the alignment button, click this button here to center them. And we also want to align these two ellipses at the bottom. So we can do that using this button right here. Okay, now let's add a gradient to this belly section. So first let's deselect everything since we've got two objects selected here. Just click in the background someplace. And now click on our white ellipse here to select just that. And then select the gradient tool. And starting somewhere in the center of this ellipse, press and hold the left mouse button and drag down. And with this handle still selected here, Let's change the color to black. So go over to the palette and left click on black. And then you can make adjustments to the gradient. And now let's make the feet. So select the ellipse tool again. Draw an ellipse. And set the color to orange. And then let's set the size of this to 118 pixels by 57 pixels. And then let's set the border color. So hold down the shift key and select orange again. And to change the size of the border, come down here to the number that's right next to the stroke color. Right click on that number and set it to 6. And then we can add a gradient like we did before. Click on the gradient button. Click and drag. And then again with this handle still selected, go over here and select a black color. And then make adjustments as necessary. And now press the select tool. And let's just position this into place to about right there. And then let's make a duplicate of this. So press Control D and that'll make a duplicate. And then just drag this over here to the left and hold the Control key while you're dragging so it'll drag straight over. And then with this one still selected, let's select the other one too. So press and hold the Shift button while you click on this right one. And let's group these two feet together. So come up here to this button right here and click that so we can group them. And now with them grouped together, it makes it easy to center them. So we'll just click on the belly here to use as a reference. And then hold the shift key and click on one of these feet. And then just click on the center button here. And then deselect everything by clicking in the background someplace and then click on the feet and let's move these feet to the back so we can do that with this button right here. And now let's make the eyes and we'll start with the outer portion of the eyes and so now we're going to make circles. So we'll click on the circle tool here and to make a circle as you're drawing just hold down the control key and then that will make a perfect circle. And let's set the size of this to 100 pixels by 100 pixels. And then we'll give it a border here of 6 pixels. And then set the border color to white by holding down the shift key clicking on the white color palette and also set the center of the circle to white by clicking on the white color in the palette and then duplicate this circle by selecting it and then press control D to duplicate and then drag this duplicate off to the right and hold down the control key while you do it so you can drag it straight over to the right and then we're going to join both of these circles and make them one object. So with this right one selected here, 
hold down the shift key and click on the left one so we can select it also and then go up to the path menu and select union and then let's add a gradient so click on the gradient tool and then press and hold the left mouse button while you drag and then again with this handle still selected here come down and click on black and then you can position the gradient and now we need to center these eyes so press on the selection button and then select the belly so that it's selected first and then hold the shift key and click on the eyes here to select them and then go over to the alignment dialog box and click on the center button. And now let's add the center of the eyes. So we'll select the circle button again and draw a circle and again hold down the control key so that you'll get a perfect circle. And for this circle we don't want a border so come down here to where it says stroke and right click on the color here and say remove stroke. And now let's set the size of this circle here. So click on the select button here and set the size to 32 pixels by 32 pixels. And then let's duplicate this eye. So click control D to duplicate. And then slide the duplicate off to the right while holding the control key so it so you can drag it straight over and then let's make sure that these eyes are centered so with the right eye selected hold down the shift key and select the left eye and group these together with this button right here and then click on the belly to use for a centering reference and then hold the shift key and click on the eyes and then over at the alignment dialog box click on the center button. And now let's work on the beak. And I'll zoom in on this section so that we can see it a little better. This time we're going to draw a rectangle. So click on the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle and set the size to 56 pixels by 68 pixels. and then set the color to orange and also set the border to orange so press the shift key and then click the orange color and then set the border width to six pixels so we'll right click on this number here and select six and then next we want to change the shape of the beak so we need to start by changing this into a path and so go up to the path menu and select object to path and then click on the edit paths button right here and now you can see the different nodes for this path and your cursor should also change to a thin pointed triangle so now select just these bottom two nodes here and to do that just press and hold the left mouse button and then drag this rectangle around it and then when you let up both of these nodes will be selected and now we want to drag these two nodes towards each other and we can do that by pressing down and holding the control key the shift key and then the less than sign which is also a left angle bracket and on my keyboard that's right above the comma and so when I press that button it moves these two nodes closer together so I'll just repeatedly press this until these two nodes almost touch each other. And now we'll want to smooth out the lines that go through these nodes. So if you go up to this button right here and click on that, that'll make these nodes smooth. And then next, go over to the center of this beak right at the top and left click on this line that's at the top and just drag that up a little bit and then release the mouse button 
And then next we need to position this beak. So just click on the selection tool here and just pull this beak down into position. And then let's add a gradient. So click on the gradient tool. And then press and hold the left mouse button while you drag. And then again with this handle selected right here, just come down here and click on the black color. And now I'll zoom back out again. And the final thing that we want to do is add a border that goes around the outside of this entire object. So to do that, start by clicking on the selection tool here and then hold down your left mouse button and drag this rectangle around your entire drawing here and then release the mouse button and that will select everything and then press control D to duplicate everything to make the next couple of steps work properly we have to make sure that this duplicate here does not have any groupings at all so if you go up to this button here this is the ungroup button just press that a few times to make sure that everything gets ungrouped. And now go over to the path menu and select object to path and then select the path menu again and select union. And then set the color to black by clicking on black in the color palette and also change the border to black by holding down the shift key and click black and then move this shape to the bottom by clicking on this button right here and then with that shape still selected we want to expand its size so that it will look like a border that's surrounding the entire penguin so to do that if you go up to the path menu you can select outset and now you can see that we have a small border that goes around the outside but let's make that border a little bit bigger so go up to the path menu again and select outset a second time and then do that one more time and now we have our completed penguin so that concludes this video thank you for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment